All right, I'm super excited because this is the beginning of the Longhorn picture that I've been telling you about that has just been stuck in my head. So I have a reference photo that it is just that. It is a reference photo. It is so that I can um, get a reasonable sense of scale. I am going to take liberties with this photograph. So I want you to be able to kind of see how this is going to work. So I'm going to grab a, I'm over here grabbing a watercolor pencil and um, we'll be able to say hello to one another in just a second. Um, as soon as I figure out where did I set my, where did I set my pencil sharpener? Y'all, I swear I just had that in my hands. No, but two seconds ago. Is it underneath? <laughs> it's underneath. Um, I hid it for myself. Ah get that out of the way. All right, so I have a, I'm going to use a green watercolor pencil. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to do this really abstract kind of very um, free flow um, green background. Um, I am not going to be using the body of the um, longhorn. I really want the face. <laughs> I want the head and I want those horns. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to take some liberties. Uh, so I have um, the Longhorn's head just about where I want it on my canvas. So it's not completely up at the at the top. It's not completely up at the, at the bottom. Um, it's got a nice proportion because I'm going to also need those horns to come out and um, up and out. So... I kind of dig this. Um, then um, once I get this sketched out, I'm going to be able to put this in some masking tape. And so um, let me get let me get my, let me get myself in frame just a little bit. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. All right, but I got to switch chairs. And um, I do this because I'm looking to create an abstraction of an image. I am not trying to replicate or duplicate or draw this cow as it is. If I was going to do that, I have some techniques that I use to enable myself to be able to draw more realistically, but that is not the purpose of this painting. So I have a projector. I have a small projector that I use and it is set up. Um, I had to play with it a little bit and I need a little teeny tiny chair as you can see. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with this green pencil just so I can kind of outline and it's not going to be perfect and as you can tell this is also very blurry I've blown this bad boy up quite a bit uh, in order to give me what you're seeing here but I do want a sense of nostrils. I'm not so much interested in the color. I am interested in the shape of his face. Get his nice, get those beautiful big eyes. Get those big eyeballs. And then give me some ears. And then I'm going to see a delineation here for where the horn hits and come back around. Okay, so I'm going to uh, cut my uh, image here for just a second so that I can actually see if I have everything I need on my canvas. So... This side looks a little funky right there, so I need to figure out what that is. All right. Ba, ba, ba. All right, I have picked up some of the cow's body here because this is it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Right there. That's what I'm looking for. And I need this to kind of carry up over here all right that will resolve that problem okay now I, this horn this this longhorn has these massively wonderful horns 
which is what I'm really wanting to capture. And um, I want them to be um, mildly exaggerated. So let me stop and think for a second, because this is sort of, it's close, um, but not quite. So let's see. Oi. I went trolling the internet. Now you get to see nothing, ha. Huh? Um, not really ha ha, but I went looking for um, some cow reference photos and I'm not really on cow photos. And I, I'm going to be really honest, I'm not seeing what I want. And then uh, that one may be better. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, I don't want to use an image that is like any kind of copyrighted or frankly somebody else's painting. Um, that would be just uncouth. Um, da, da, da. I got a couple of more reference photos that I may be able to get away with, that I may be able to use for what I'm trying to do and see if that gives me a better image because part of the problem that I'm having right now is that the image that's in my head is uh -huh. a much uh -huh. more um, close up of the cow's face and head um, initially than what I'm getting here and I am not able to uh, let's see you're gonna enable me to no you're not gonna enable me to do that cancel I want to be able to zoom in on this cow's face so let's see if highly pixelated but that's okay I don't need super super detail I particularly like the horns on this cow. That's why I said um, be prepared for... Oh, no signal. Come on. All right, catch up my signal. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, some spaces in my studio need to be cleaned up, and I've been ignoring it because I'd rather do anything. And, um, yeah, I might have just knocked my house over. So, momentito. Well, I get this stuff out of the way. Boy. As I get this stuff moving out of my way. So that I can do the next part of this, which is okay. That is much better, but I need to raise up. I need to raise up my kill. It's tears face. Boop, 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 boop. Almost. And did I mention that we're going to take some liberties with it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to take some liberties with the horn. Okay. I like this one much better. <laughs> and I'm going to need to move my friend that I've already drawn. So I'm going to come in here with a brown pencil so I can tell the difference between the two. That way I know I want the, I want to capture the brown one <laughs> and not the green. Um, all right, so this is going to give me proportion and scale. Okay. Uh, because like I said, I want to capture, um, the overall proportion and scale, but because of what I'm wanting to do, um, I want these uh, big uh, horns 
is mostly what I'm aiming for is the horns and because what I do in here is going to be entirely abstract. Um, this is going to be full on multicolored, very bright colors. And here is where we're going to change out his horns. <laughs> I like the other horns. I like the horns on the other cow better. So I like these horns. <laughs> So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to line up my horns. Let me get blinded by the light. Let me get, let me get his horns. Let me figure out where my horns are from this one right here. All right. So that I can at least see where I need to anchor my, my horn down into a little bit closer. And further, further down. So this again, this is just a time saver for me. It makes things a little bit easier. Um, and because what I'm wanting to do is just very, very abstract, I am 100% okay with doing this. Doesn't bother me in the least. All right, I need you to come over here a little bit. And I maybe if I'm at the top, of where I want those horns to be. Horns are going to come out here and here. So I need to drop you just a little bit. Why do I keep going the wrong way? Ah, very frustrating. Uh oh, might have been too much. Might have been too much. Oh, no, almost. Oh, 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 almost got, almost got. Over here a little bit. See, I'm looking for this spot right here and a little bit more. Again, this is really nice and light. Almost, 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 almost. Almost right where I want it. Let's do it like that. And let me drop it just, just a smidge. Let's see if that put it right where I wanted it. No, no, it did not. Okay. This is kind of the boring part, folks. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's kind of frustrating, actually, in a lot of ways. because this is the part where I am I went here and here so you are pretty darn close I'm going to make my adjustment here a little bit to get me where I want there I go uh, again I get to take some liberty And this love is getting some big old horns. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, like I said, I have been, and I'll play with that once I get, um, I'll play with this end piece over here. I don't really kind of like the way that looks, but I will play with that in just a little bit. And here's his head here. I've got one there and one there. So I need to, need to come up a little bit. Ah, that was my toe. I go, I'm gonna move this out. All right, so the bottom lines up pretty good. Slide myself over. Hold on. And here we go. All right in here. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. 
goes under. What the heck was that? Alright. So, now I can kind of check. Ah! Check, come in here and look to see. I like that. Okay, well this one has, looks like he's got a few little issues up in here. Da, 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 head there, and then we're gonna cut them off there. And here I can see where I've made my adjustment to my cow. All right, I kind of like that. So let me turn the power off on my projector, turn my lights back on. Woo! Okay. Maneuver myself around my studio. I put all this stuff on the floor. Now let's get that light back on. Ugh. All right. Boy. All right. So here's what I'm going to end up doing. I want to get rid of my the green line so I can really tell whether or not I'm where I need to be. So I'm going to. Oh, I don't want to do this. Can I? Oh, it goes the other. It goes the exact opposite direction that I think it should. All right, we'll put some water in here. Okay, that's going to let me get up here, get up close, and remove. I'm going to get this to add some water there. I want to remove the green one. So I've got enough light on here because right now it looks like something's, <laughs> something's very wrong. As Paper towels. Not that set of paper towels. This set of paper towels. Because when I do that, it's going to allow me to kind of come in here and I'm going to be able to really get a better handle on what I can see and recognize whether or not I have what I want here. Plus, I don't necessarily want green on the inside of my uh, cow when I go to lay this bad boy out and do the inside. And so I mentioned once before that when you use this type of canvas, you're able to um, kind of erase, kind of clean up, wipe away whatever it is that you were working on. Well, this is, this is it. Um, you can get it take where it is where it's wet and you can kind of wipe it away. Does it leave a little bit of green behind? Yes, it's going to leave a little bit of green behind. I can still kind of see it when I'm up close, but it is nowhere near what it was. And once I get this good and wet with the other color, I'm not going to be able to see this. And so kind of why I like being able to have this here. So let's get rid of that. Okay. 
okay, this is my this is my green line right here. Let's make that go away. This part of my green line and my brown lines intersect right here. And I'm going to keep kind of rinsing this off because I want to, I want to make the green disappear. I don't want to enhance it. I go away. I go away. Make that go away. So now I can kind of see where my cow face is, the nose, and my eyes. And then I've got a spot here which was part of an ear. And do, 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 do those line up, that go away. <laughs> that one that lined up right there pretty well. Make that nice and wet. Pull that off. Keep going back into my paper towel. I will use a different paper towel. I'm about to need to grab another paper towel. Fresh one here in a second. And see, and I had this weird thing here when I was trying to correct. Oh, I can get rid of that. I'm going to need to switch out and get a new paper towel. So, guys, this is it. I mean, it's not super, it's not necessarily super exciting, but um, this is a way for people who. All right, I'm going to be making this an abstraction. I know people who do this, master the old, you know, old guys uh, who painted, they had a similar process where they would manipulate an image. So uh, don't feel like, oh my gosh, I projected something, so therefore I'm not really an artist, I'm not really doing the thing. Yeah, you are. Just relax. Don't don't get yourself all worked up about it. Okay? It really is quite okay. All right, I'm going to take this brown because I want this for me. Right? Because that's this is where my this one ear is. This is where this other ear is. And it comes to there. Comes up and around. All right, so I'm gonna come back in here and remove some more of this green. And now this is kind of this is prepped. It's mostly prepped. Um, I want to be able to take and mask out um, the cow so that I can come in here and do the background. And this kind of very green, um, kind of mottled, um, bright grass. Um, background so that I can come in with these really bright colors, remove the mask, and come in with these really bright colors, and um, pinks, and purples, and blues, and oranges, and yellows. Um, and so I want to remove as much of this green as I can. And so you're going to see me kind of coming in and it looks like I'm painting on nothing. 
it's just me. I can see up close. I can see where some of that green is still kind of tinging. And if I can remove some of it, I want to. Uh, it's predominant, rarely dominant over here on this side. That kind of disappear. And then that white dog. Uh, that is probably going to be as good as I can get. So I am now going to simply need to wait um, until the other painting. Um, I've got to have it set off to the side. Uh, but I wanted you to kind of get an idea that you can actually come in here and take an image. Notice I grafted two images together. I have the bare minimum. I just wanted the facial structure and the location of the nostrils and so that it was proportional. Um, I know I have more space up here. The original image in my head turns out is way out of proportion because like all of this was horn and all of that was horn. Um, so this will give me a little bit more um, realistic starting point. Um, it does give me a lot of um, white space. Um, so in order to make this pop, I've got to make sure that this green isn't so um, invasive. It needs to be kind of dark but mottled. So I may, um, I'm not going to use a trash bag to do the um, background. I'm going to do, do a wash, um, nice bright colors. Um, I may do um, some alcohol and some salt in order to add some texture. The, I'll use the trash bag to lay in my color here um, and then come in and define because I'm going to want to make sure that I can define the facial structure. Um, so it's just going to be kind of psychedelic in appearance. So I cannot wait. I'm super excited. Um, so I hope as I walk across the screen, I um, hope that um, this gives you some insight into at least how I do this. Um, when I'm looking at doing something that has a realistic component um, that's this scale. Uh, because guys, this is one big old painting over here. Um, I'm super excited and I can't wait to show you the next steps of getting this one underway.